Okay, yeah. At pinaka-key text natin, I want to welcome each and every one of us, those who are watching us online, and uh, those who are in their homes, in the name of the Project 8, Seventh-day Adventist Church, I want to welcome you and thank you for watching with us. So, uh, the topic that I have uh, for this morning is entitled Step by Step or Step Hakbang Adisapang Hakbang Step by Step So our text is found in Isaiah 26 4 I want to read this in English as well as in Tagalog Okay, dito sinasabi Trust ye to the Lord forever for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. And sa Tagalog dito, sinasabi dito, Magtiwala kayo sa Panginoon, magpakailanman, sapagkat nasa Panginoon, Jehovah, ang walang hanggang, hawalang hanggang bato. So, let us bow our heads. Father in heaven, thank you for this uh, opportunity to gather together and study the words. Bless us through the Holy Spirit in our midst to understand the message that our Lord going to uh, give us today. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Yes, step by step. Walking, nalala ko yung camping. Ano, ano, ano pala, hiking. Yeah, we started the hike. With, uh, that is uh, 3,000, uh, uh, only, yeah, that is just only 3,000 kilometers high. Pero, napakagrabe yung akyatin kasi wala kang makitang patag. You have to mount step by step going up sa mga rocks at saka sa mga halaman. So, may isang tao na interview sa television. He was, uh, uh, he has decided to have a backpack and walk all over North America. And uh, he was even covered the whole of America and even the whole world. So, ang tanong sa kanya, the question that was asked during the television show, what is your secret? Ano pa ang secret mo? Bakit alos nalakad mo yung buong, buong, hindi lang buong Amerika, kundi buong mundo? Sabi niya, my secret is, I take one step at a time. So the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. So the journey with the Ramitan High climb start with one step. Sinasabi po sa atin na uh, our passion for anything o ano man ang nasa isip natin na gagawin uh, we should always take the first step. Yung unang hakbang natin yun ay ating gagawin so that we can finish the rest. So, what are your plans for today? Maybe uh, sa mga nanay, yung kanilang mga anak. Okay, ay mapatapos mo sa pag-aaral. And uh, sa mga kabataan, wanting, wanting to have a course later on to graduate. And uh, for professionals to upgrade, mag-upgrading, doctoral, doctoral, Sister Malo, sa sa mga ano dyan. At napakarami po ng mga plano natin sa buhay natin. And uh, dito po ay sa ating church. We plan to build a church. Yeah. So, we start at the very, very first onset of stepping one step before we go on. Sa so, ibang mga uh, tao, naisip nila, uh, I have to go to college but I have already one million pesos in my pocket. Kailangan ay makaipon ako ng malaki-laki para ako magsimula. Pero ang payo sa atin ay we should 
have that initiative to have one step at a time. So whatever money you have, if you think you can enroll, you can start. Kung sa ating building naman, sinasabi dito, if you have the reasonable amount of money in building a church uh, for the front and for the internal, as long as the church is willing, you can start. As long na lahat ng mga kapatid natin ay willing to join forces. And uh, uh, we are going to do it by faith. Sabi? Uh, since sabi dito na um, ang ating mga panukala sa buhay ay mali-reach out natin by starting at the very first step. So, nalala ko yung may-ari ng bahay na titingnan namin. Titingnan namin si Ate Annie. Uh, marami siyang apartment. May apartment siya sa... sa Valenzuela. Meron siya sa Project 6, sa Cavite, Bacoor. Uh, meron siyang mga paupahan sa... Um, doon siya pinasokan ni Troy na ano siya, na caregiver. Uh, para niya ke. Sabi ko sa kanya, what is your secret? Anong sikreto niyo? Kasi it's an employee of uh, foreign affairs siya. Masawa naman niya sa... Uh, sa... Yung sa mga, mga attorney. Sa law, law firm. Hindi siya law firm. Yung sa ating... Pau. Oh. Ano? Okay. Yeah, okay. So yun ang ano niya. Sabi, sabi niya, oh ma, maliit pag ako lang. Alam mo, pag uh, asawa ko lang asahan ko, wala kami yung mga property na kagaya nito. Noong noong time na yun, na una, naalala ko noong una, uh, kapag may pera ako, bumibili ako ng materials, mga tag-ulan, kasi mura yung materiales. Yung bumibili ako, naka-ipo naka lang dyan, naka-staple naka lang siya dyan. Tapos kung may pera ako ulit, magpatay ako ng building. Hanggang sa so, katagalan na ginagawa niya ganun, Naka-itron siya ng gano'ng property na sa masasabi mo na wala na siyang ginagawa din, magantay ng monthly. Since sa dami ng mga properties niya ng mga rent, rentals, ay parang keep siya, wala siya problema at parang hindi siya namibigay na lang siya. So, it started during that time na wala siyang talagang ano, kundi yung magsimula siya doon sa isang pukunan na napakaliit. And later on, uh, made her a millionaire. So, magsabi natin millionaire siya, tatabi na kasi mga properties niya. At yung mga ilang doors, at tagatayo sa everyone. So, uh, siya sabi ko dito sa, uh, sa atin ng Panginoon, only one day at a time, uh, we can start building for our future. Either it is for our earthly or heavenly future as well. As you travel, don't look at the vast immensity of uh, places that you are going to go. Maybe you have to plan to go to America, to US, Canada, or any other. Hindi na tayo mag... Titingin muna doon sa malawak na yon. Ang titingnan ko natin ay yung tinatawag na hindi sa kamalapit na area kung saan pwede tayo. Pwede tayo. So, uh, only one day at a time, okay, ang yesterday's burden plus tomorrow's worries added to this our daily loads of life will crush the most tower of the soul. So ito daw yung ating pinakasikreto na kung bakit mapanagupayan natin ang mga bagay-bagay na ating pinapanangkala. Sabi, close yesterday's room, lock tomorrow's chamber, and keep open today's compartment. Dahil, if yesterday's bread is stale, patis na yun. And today's um, a today's is a today's produce is fresh. Tomorrow's will be the unbaked bread that we're going to eat. 
So, kapag tayo ay nagsimula sa nang dahan-dahang na step toward progress, we can only do that through God's grace. So, kahit ano ang ginagawa natin, ito ay ating isa sa isip na ang Panginoon ay nandyan. God is always with us. As what He has promised here in our key text for this morning, trust ye, trust ye to the Lord forever, for the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So, wala tayong ibang lakas na pag- uh, hahanapan ng lahat kundi iyong Panginoon. And only through Christ's strength that is to be that. In lessons natin kanina, the righteousness of Jesus imparted unto us will give us this opportunity to share the love to other people. So uh, that when the time comes, pagdating ng panahon, ay nasasabi natin na, we have, we have to our part. We have done our part. And we have sustained the life that we have to sustain in this earth. So, kung sa ating kapanunan ay makikita natin ang pakikisama ng Panginoon sa ating buhay, makikita natin na we enjoy life at its best. Yung mga kaklase ko, mga ano na kami, ni Sebeti Ford Watch ng high school, <laughs> pag nagkita-kita kami ay, yun, kumustanan, ganun, ganun. How is life? Ang practice ko sinasabi na, by God's grace, I am still alive and kicking. So ito yung practice na nila, by God's grace, I am still alive and kicking. Sabi ko, mga si Terry, parang hindi ka tumatanda. Kasi, <laughs> Pag nag-picture tayo kami, bakit ka nang mga lola na talaga po kami? Hindi naman sa pag-ano. Parang mga lola na, maliban sa mga ibang mga kapas namin talaga na, parang hindi din sila tumanda sila. Ang sikreto nila, nung na-interview ko, nako, ang problema ganyan lang yan. Pero, ang Panginoon ay parati. So, this God-fearing people, ay hindi sila tumatanda. Yan sa paningin ko sa kanila. These God-fearing classmates of mine, eh, kita ko paano hindi sila tumatanda. Sila yung mga leaders uh, in their own church. And hindi lang, of course, the Saturday is their belong. They belong to the Catholic Church, pero they serve, they serve in the church. Iba naman ay mga Iglesia ni Cristo, and iba naman ay mga... Iba yung pa-religion kami eh. Pero we believe that serving God, serving God is the best that could uh, sustain our lives together. So, pag nagkita-kita, ganun na lang yung uh, kasiyahan. At sa ating din, mga kapatid, sa ating mga kapatid sa loob ng Iglesia, ito ay nais kong iwanan sa bawat sa atin. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. So, hindi tayo dapat parati nagmamadali, hindi tayo parati dati uh, parang stressed out or something. Kailangan ay we have to enjoy. Kailangan habang naglilingkod tayo sa Panginoon, we have to enjoy the life that God has given us. So, how could we do that? Sige, maraming mga paparaan na tayo ang mga tinis sa simbahan sa iglesia nito. Pero, uh, the bottom line is uh, we have to do the part the commission that was given to us. Start one day at a time. Kaya ang aming ano, plan na bus ministry, nalulungkot ako kasi hindi pa namin na nabubuo yung pondo. So we plan to have bus ministry na magpipreach kami doon sa LRT or sa bus. Within, inside the bus, at gada namin yung mga booklets na yan. This, this is one of the plan that we have. And sana matuloy na namin ito. Another day kung anong mga panukala nyo sa inyong mga small group, sana matutuloy na natin ito at we will always be earning blessings from the Lord. So, uh, dito po sa pinaka ano dito, pinaka last part, bago ako magsimula, matatapos na tayo, mga patid, hindi tayo tatagal. 
Okay, so, dito ay Santiago at Ah, sa last part, pala natin ito nakita ko. Ah, dito sa last part. Santiago at Ish, pride himself to behaving the message of the second coming from and center of their identity. This message is something for which we shall be thankful and share with a, with a broader world around us. This is, there is no doubt that this message is one of the world's desperate need to hear. So, tayo ito, tayo ito mga kapatid, tayo na yung nagdadala ng pabalita ng langit, tayo itong, we pride ourselves to be having that second coming of Jesus preach to the people around us. And uh, Tito is the truth, but the truth about the second coming goes beyond sharing the message. So, uh, humanity also needs to see what it means to live in the present with the hope of the second coming and of the new birth. So, it goes beyond the message na darating na ang ating Panginoon dapat mananasan ng mga tao sa paligid natin ang maranasan natin that we are enjoying this life and we are enjoying a little heaven down here on earth during this last uh, phase of our lives on earth so ito yung dapat na makikita sa atin ng mga tao sa paligid natin that there is a little heaven down here on earth to us, to our families, to our church, to our community. So that they also can have that hope of the second coming of Christ, at the same time enjoying the life yeah, while we, we are here on this earth. And when the uh, blessed uh, time comes, when Jesus comes into this earth the second time around, we will be blessed to reap the harvest of our labor and together with our loved ones and friends we're going to shout for joy here is our God whom we have been waiting for thank you and may God bless us this morning Amen.